Do you want to hear a construction joke? Sorry, I'm still working on it. Today, I'm going to recap a 2020 action crime film called Spencer Confidential. A quick warning, there will be major spoiler ahead. The film opens with Detective Spencer, arriving with his partner Driscoll, to the home of Captain John Boyline. When Spencer barges into Boyline's home, he sees the man is drunk, and his wife looks bloodied and battered. As heard in a testimonial voiceover to a judge, Spencer explains that he went to Boylan's house to question him on covering up the murder of a woman named Gloria Wisniewski. The confrontation got heated and Spencer beat Boylan senseless, insisting that he had it coming. Five years later, Spencer is almost out of prison. He is approached by an inmate named Squeeb, who is part of an Aryan supremacist prison group. He and the other Aryans gather around to give Spencer a going-away message. Spencer then ends up in a brawl, where he fights all of them off, before he is finally released. Spencer is picked up by his friend and associate, Henry Simile. To his horror, Spencer's ex-girlfriend, Sissy Davis, shows up to pick him up at the prison, but Spencer and Henry run into Henry's car to drive away. Henry brings Spencer to his new home, where his dog Pearl still lives, and he now shares a room with a man named Hawk. To Spencer's dismay, Pearl seems to have taken more of a liking to Hawk than to be ecstatic to see him. Later that night, Boylan is going home while talking to his daughter on the phone. He drives near a bus yard where he gets hit by a truck. A group of hooded men come out and pull Boylan out of his car, beating him mercilessly, which his daughter can hear. They accuse Boylan of talking to someone about something they did, and one man kills Boylan with a machete. The following morning, a nurse named Letitia Graham comes home to find her husband, Terence, dead in the front seat of his car, with a gunshot wound to his head. Letitia breaks down hysterically as onlookers come by to help. News spreads of Boylan's murder, with Spencer immediately becoming a prime suspect. Driscoll and another detective visit Spencer to confirm that he wasn't near the crime scene when Boylan was murdered but every other cop in the city hates Spencer's guts and thinks he had something to do with it. Spencer then goes about his day by starting a new job as a truck driver, but after seeing that Terence is being accused of involvement in the murder, as well as the media's belief that he committed suicide out of guilt and letitia and distress on TV, Spencer takes it upon himself to solve the case, since he personally knew Terence and knew he was a great cop. Spencer visits Letitia, who says the detectives that raided her home appeared to know exactly where to find a stash of drugs that had clearly been planted there. She informs Spencer that Terence was last known to be going to a cop bar with Boylan. Spencer goes to the cop bar and speaks to another detective, who would have known about any involvement Terence had with Boylan. Spencer sincerely apologizes for how he handled things with Boylan, but a few other cops loyal to Boylan enter and begin to fight Spencer before throwing him out. He then goes to a nearby bodega, where there is security cam footage of Terence and Boylan meeting outside the bar. He brings it home to inspect with the help of Hawk. Spencer later visits the crime scene to look for anything that may have been missed. He visits Driscoll at a gym, where he denies having been at the crime scene, but Spencer suspects otherwise since he found a toothpick there, which Driscoll is known to usually have in his mouth. Spencer and Hawk have lunch together, but Spencer is displeased to see Sissy is there too. She follows him into the bathroom, where they end up having quick bang. She brings up how they had a pregnancy scare and Spencer insisted he would be there for the child, even if they didn't get married. But Sissy is glad that she didn't get pregnant. After they leave, Spencer and Hawk spot the same Corvette that was seen in the security footage. Spencer chases after it on foot and cuts through a yard, where he is attacked by a guard dog. However, Hawk managed to get the license plate number. Spencer takes it to the DMV and forces the man behind the desk to give him the information. The car belongs to an Irish mob enforcer called Tracksuit Charlie Bentwood. Spencer, Hawk, and Henry sit outside to keep an eye on Bentwood as he is getting a massage. Here is where Spencer explains his whole history with Boylan and Gloria Wisniewski. He used to shovel snow off her mother's porch when he was younger, and Gloria was an activist against gentrification. Bentwood was sent to scare her off, but she wouldn't budge. She would later go home to find her cat nailed to her door, before Spencer later came across her body lying in a trunk. He had to break the news to Gloria's mother himself. He saw security cam footage of thugs attacking and murdering Gloria, but later found out that Boylan was just sitting on the murder case and sent Spencer out when he confronted him over it. 
This is what led to Spencer attacking Boylan in his home. Hawk then vandalizes Bentwood's car to get a rise out of him. They continue to scope out Bentwood for a few days, until Spencer is told by two FBI agents to back off the case. Spencer visits Squeeb in the hospital, since he knows he might have some answers to further solving the case. Squeeb refuses to talk until Spencer shows him his phone, where Henry is recording Hawk on a date with Squeeb's girlfriend. Squeeb gives in and gives Spencer only one word, Wonderland. With help from reporter Wayne Cosgrove, Spencer and Hawk learn that Wonderland is a casino syndicate, run between Dirty Cops and the Trinitarios gang. Spencer goes by the area where he is confronted by two Trinitarios, but they make him go away. Boylan is given a traditional officer's funeral, while Terence is only given a small one with close family and friends. Driscoll talks to his partner, Macklin, over a situation unfolding between them that could lead to some unwanted exposure. Spencer goes to a restaurant where the Trinitarios spot him. They attack him with machetes, but Spencer manages to fight them off before Hawk crashes in with the car. Knowing that the Trinitarios know who he is and can target him, Spencer brings Pearl and Hawk to hide out with Sissy. He later goes to Lettish's home after it's been vandalized, and she gives him an audio recording that Terence hid between himself and Boyline. The tape confirms that Boyline was a dirty cop and that Bentwood, Macklin, and Driscoll all worked together, and it was Driscoll who struck the killing blow to Boyline. Spencer brings the tape to the FBI, but they deem it insufficient evidence to go after Driscoll. Spencer finds Bentwood and violently interrogates him. He confesses that there's a shipment of drugs coming from New Hampshire to Wonderland. Spencer and Hawk find the truck and run it off the road, killing two of the crooks inside before coming across the stash. Spencer is later contacted by Driscoll, who knows that Spencer knows about him, and so he has kidnapped Henry and forces Spencer to meet at Wonderland within an hour. Sissy joins the two on their mission, and she helps Henry get free. Spencer and Hawk ride in on a truck to smash the criminals' cars, before proceeding to fight them all off, before it's just Spencer and Driscoll. The two have a brawl where Driscoll almost wins, but Spencer fights him and stops short of beating him, the same way he beat Boylan to avoid returning to jail. They leave the dirty cops outside with all the evidence, just as the police arrive to arrest Driscoll and his goons. Terence is exonerated and is set to be given a proper officer's funeral, as well as a scholarship being set up for his son, Spencer, Hawk, Sissy, and Henry go out to celebrate for lobster, until Spencer sees a news report of a church fire from two years earlier, and the Boston fire chief is under arrest as a suspect, despite insisting he is innocent. Spencer claims he knew the guy, which gives Henry and Sissy the bad feeling that Spencer is going to take on this case as well. If you enjoy this video, don't be shy hit the like button, and if you disliked it hit the dislike button twice just to be sure. You should watch the full movie. Thank you very much for watching.